September was slow. How slow? There was only 10 sales in all of Central Newmarket in September 2023. I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader at Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center, and this is your sold report for October 2023. Today, we're on location at our listing at 130 Robin Court in the Bristol, London Road area of Newmarket. This is an absolutely beautiful 2,400 square foot, four bedroom home on a great corner lot. It's loaded with upgrades and you really have to see it to appreciate it. Check out our link at toombsteam.com for more information. Let's get into it. There was only 10 sales for the whole month of September in Central Newmarket. Eight were freehold while there was only two condo sales. This is not many sales, especially when you figure that at the start of October, there was 42 active listings for the whole community with 25 of them being freehold properties and a whopping 17 active condo units in the community, which include condo apartments and condo townhomes. There is an absolute glut of condos in the market right now. And with only two reported sales last month, inventory may continue to grow until we start to see prices come down that'll make these more attractive options for buyers. And it's also important to acknowledge that there are actually fewer real estate investors entering into the condo market and really the whole real estate market in general right now, as there's more investment options for them in these uncertain times. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, real estate is not a liquid investment. And investors today in these uncertain times, especially as interest rates are up, maybe coming down with bond rates up, they're looking for things that can move money around fast. And real estate is not the greatest option for investors if that's their goal. Now, of the 10 homes that did sell last month, only one of them sold at or above the asking price. This was an absolutely beautiful back split on Lauren Avenue that sold in only two days for $11,000 over their million 39 asking price. Now we had clients for this one, but it actually went too fast for us to get our clients in. There was also a two-story home on Hanley Crescent, which sold for 100% of the $1,074,000 asking price. Newmarket as a whole actually had 25 sales at or above the asking price, which represented about 40% of all sales for the month of September, which is actually a high number considering the current market conditions. But this is also thanks to the listing strategy of an intentionally listing low to generate a bidding war. Now that did not appear to be the case with that home on Lauren Avenue. They just really priced it perfectly. What we're focusing on for this community is the condo market. It's absolutely mind boggling that there was zero sales of any of the Davis Drive condo apartments last month. And there are currently 15 active listings for condo apartments on Davis Drive with three of them being assignment sales at the Davis, which is the new condo building under construction that's currently expecting occupancy in early 2024. I think we could start to see this number of assignment sales continue to creep upwards as we inch toward the occupancy date in early 2024. Or we could see some builder inventory come online as some buyers may not be able to actually fulfill their contracts and close on those deals. The speculation in the condo market was far more appealing when interest rates were at 2%, but now that they're at over 7% in some cases, it's far less appealing. All right, in summary, the market is soft, much softer than it was just a few months ago. Homeowners that are thinking about a sale really need to make sure your home is ready and that you have realistic expectations on what your home is going to fetch in the market. With inventory on the rise, you can expect to see new homes coming to the market that are priced aggressively and likely priced to undercut the existing inventory that's out there. Ultimately, they don't want to be the ones that are sitting on the market for weeks on end. Okay, buyers, don't think that you're going to have a ton of negotiating room on some of the more desirable real estate. Homes on good lots and locations are always going to be in demand regardless of the market. It's going to be the homes that are on the okay properties and lots and locations that are going to be sitting a little longer and take a little longer to sell. You're going to have a lot more negotiating power on those homes. If you have any questions about any of the information that's been provided in this report, please feel free to reach out to us. One of our team members would be happy to sit down with you either in person or online to discuss your family's real estate needs. This market is rapidly changing and working with an agent or team that has their finger on the pulse is going to be absolutely paramount for you in the real estate purchasing and selling process. 
And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on how much your home is worth in today's market, we would love to talk and provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation. So you can have a better idea on what your home may be worth so we can help strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month. Thank you.